Hello everyone. I'm Hello everyone, I'm Ferdinando Traverso. I'm the volunteer regional coordinator for Apulia Wikimedia Italy. And I'm going to give you a presentation of uh, Dot bike talked about a very global picture of Wikilow's monuments and Wikilow's contest. I'm going to give uh, some details on what we are doing locally uh, to share some ideas that uh, we found useful and interesting. Uh, and so I'm going to talk about ideas for Wikilow's monuments, about how we organize a local contest, in particular the example of my region, of what we did in Apulia with partnerships and also what we did in Italy to improve the usability for Wikilow's Monuments participants. So uh, I think we all know what Wikilow's Monuments is. We have already heard a lot of things about that. Uh, we have been organizing Wikilow's Monuments in Italy since 2012. Um, and since the start, I think we have had also local contests. So we have also contests for regions or group of regions in Italy. Uh, in Italy, you know, there are 20 regions and um, we think, oh, okay, was figuring out how to use this thing. So we have 12 local contests out of 20 regions. Uh, some of them are multi-regional and um, I'm going to talk in particular about Wikilow's Puglia, which is the contest I have been organizing since 2019. Um, so why do we have local contests? Uh, and just we don't just have the national Italian contest. Uh, I think that there are three main reasons why local contests uh, are a useful thing in Italy. Uh, first of all, um, there are like 20 regions in Italy. Each region has its own monuments. There are a lot of monuments in Italy. Not all of them were included into Wikilow's monuments for legal reasons, basically, because we have no freedom on panorama. There are additional rights on uh, the reproduction of monuments, but legislation is changing. So we are adding more and more monuments into Wikilow's monuments competition for Italy. So we have added all the castles last year. Now we are adding all the churches for 2023 and we will add all the museums in 2024 and continue to grow the list of monuments. And uh, I think that local contests are very useful to, first of all, promote uh, Wikilow's monuments in a specific region uh, in order to have a more coordinated activity um, in the local zone. So you can organize, I will show you um, what we did in Apulia. You can organize local activities to involve the people from the region you are targeting. You can use the local contest to establish local partnerships because if you have a national contest, you will have to find um, national institutions to partner with. While if you have local contests, you can just partner with what you find in the area you are targeting. Uh, those kind of organizations are smaller, but they have, I think, valuable people that um, can participate in Wikilow's monuments or promote Wikilow's monuments. And so the final goal, and which was my personal goal for Wikilow's Apulia, is promoting the local cultural heritage of the area which can be different uh, from the cultural heritage that you find in other uh, areas of Italy, in other areas of the, the country. And so what we did, uh, according to these three principles I showed, uh, to organize Wikilow's Puglia. First of all, we found a local photography club in Apulia. Uh, so we partnered basically with a photo club uh, in Bari, which is the capital, and which has also links through the um, National Photo Club organizations uh, with the other, the other clubs in Apulia. Uh, this gave us the opportunity to find and to target a, a huge group of uh, photographers. Uh, they are amateurs, but they are um, very specialized, they are skilled, and so they can take quality photos to um, enter in the Wicklow's Monuments contest. And we also partnered with the local uh, tourism promotion agency that uh, gave us funding for the local activities and gave us the opportunity to reach a wider public by sharing uh, um, the news about the contest on the official channels of the region, um, which have a, a really wide audience. 
And we had the opportunity to spread the word by organizing uh, local events. For example, we had a press conference for the local press, uh, other than the um, things that were done nationwide uh, for spreading the news in the press. Uh, we organized photo walks in partnership with the local organization, which could bring their photographers, their public to our activities in order to have the opportunity to meet uh, skilled photographers uh, with little effort. And we had, we had, for example, 10 photo walks in 10 different towns of Apulia in 2021 and in 2022. We had a local prize ceremony uh, with local authorities and the participation of uh, people from um, the region of Apulia. Uh, while the nationwide ceremony has um, a different kind of, of public. And we also had an uh, exhibition with the photos winning from the local contest, so they showed and represented the local heritage. Uh, and we had this kind of touring exhibition, which visited 11 towns of Apulia from 2022 to 2023, and um, was able to promote not only Wiki loves monuments and the local contest to a wider public in Apulia, but it was able to promote also um, the local heritage, which was represented by the winning images. And so now um, this was the approach we had to Wiki loves monuments in Apulia, uh, so with a local kind of approach. And I'd like to show you the results of such an approach. Uh, so uh, the number of photos. Uh, kept growing um, uh, in the years, while the participants were like uh, 100 for, uh, for Apulia, but even if Apulia constitutes only the 10% of Italian population, in 2022 the participants from Wikilos Apulia were the 20% of the uh, Wikilos Monuments Italy participants. And um, with, the, with the such figures, I'd like to show you that when there was no local contest in Apulia, so in 2018, the number of uploads and of participants was very low in the region, uh, notwithstanding the presence of the banners and uh, all the um, things that are organized nationwide for the contest. While since from we started uh, involving the local partners, the photo club, we started doing local uh, promotion. So we use the social networks to uh, promote the contest in local photography groups. We partnered with the photo club, with the tourism agency. Uh, the figures of uploads and participants in the region um, grew, grew really uh, steadily and um, uh, visibly. And we also had some results uh, in terms of quality of the pictures. Because uh, I'm really happy to, to say that uh, photos from Wikilos Puglia have uh, won the first uh, places in the winner's list of Wikilos Monuments Italy for three consecutive years. So in 2020, we had the first three places, the first three prizes for Wikilos Monuments Italy. In 2000, this is the image which won Wikilos Italy in 2020, and is, it is from Apulia. We won in 2021 the first two places, and in 2022 we won also the first two places uh, for the because in 2022 we closed monuments. Italy winners list was split between a general section and a section for castles in particular. We won the first two places for the um, section of castles and fortifications. So uh, I think this shows that partnering with local organizations which are active in the photography sectors and which have already a public of skilled photographers can increase not only the number or the figures of the, the uploads and of the participants in the region, but does increase also the quality of the content uh, we receive of the uploads for the region. It, it is shown by the fact that we won for three consecutive years the first places. Uh, and I think that partner, partnering with local organizations uh, active in the sector is very important. Now, in the second part of the talk, I'd like to showcase what we have done in Italy as well. So this was a very local part 
while now I'd like to show what we have done in Italy as well to improve the usability of Wikilogs monuments. So, uh, you know, since 2012, uh, we have had as the only method to participate in to enter in the contest, we have had lists on Wikipedia. And they have been the same for 10 years. So since the beginning of Wikilogs monuments in Italy, they have basically not changed. And uh, more and more, we received uh, some comments about the low usability of this system. So we started to think how we could improve the usability of the Wikilogs monuments uh, interface for the participants. What we did was uh, uh, starting to take inspiration from what was done in other countries. Uh, there was the maps.wikilogsmonuments.org uh, web app developed by Atnote, but we couldn't use it for Italy as we needed special, we had a special procedure in place for categories and we had special local needs. So we um, decided to implement our own system. We created a mobile app, uh, which was released in 2020, but became official for entering the contest in 2021. Uh, and this is basically the interface of the app. Um, the main, I was the developer uh, for 2021 and 2022. And we got uh, encouraging results. We saw that the 12% of uploaded photos uh, came from the app and the 31% of uploaders uh, used the app for entering the contest. So we decided to um, do another step towards usability. Uh, as we also get encouraging results from the users, which were actually satisfied uh, with using the app and uh, they were content with the interface and the improvements in usability. And we decided to uh, build a new web application for Wikilogs Monuments Italy, which will be available in 2023 to participate not only by mobile, but also by desktop interfaces and uh, features a map, features a list of monuments. And so we decided to abandon final list on Wikipedia, which won't be anymore the main method to enter in the, in the contest. And uh, that's not the only thing we have done uh, for Wikilogs Mon Monuments Italy. We have also started, uh, Yolanda Pensa in particular with uh, a team from the Politecnico di Milano, a project to visualize data uh, about the contest. And we think this is really nice because uh, they have studied this um, fan uh, metaphor. So you see there is this uh, fan which represents uh, the um, number of monuments participating in the contest and number of, photograph, uh, of photos uploaded in the contest. I'd like to thank you. Um, for having followed this presentation. I don't know, I think we don't have any time for Q&A, but there is going to be the Wikilogs Monuments Q&A. I don't know, if you have any questions, we have time for two questions. Okay, if you have any questions, um, so I, I discovered that we had time, any ideas, any suggestions, yeah. I'm here and I will also be available uh, afterwards. I'm Ferdinando Traversa, or you can just ask any other Italians. Thank you. I see that we have a question. It's not work. Ah, yeah, it's working. Okay. Hi, uh, Diego. A poco. You saw poco a poco. Very quick question. The, the banner. You, you use a local banner. Do, did you have a local banner for? Yes. Uh, yes. We have the banner, and uh, I think what uh, we'll be, be having it also in. Uh, I mean, I talk about local banner the, on Wikipedia. The banner on Wikipedia. We we have always said that. And what? National, not local banner. Okay, that was a question. No, and, uh, national only. On yes, local. only national. So the local contest focused on uh, actions that could be locally implemented to improve the local participation, while the banner stays for the national contest. Thank you.